Hi, it's Maria from the Wood County District Public Library. I want to share some stories with you. And I know that a lot of us read stories at night for bedtime. And it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, reading routine to establish and to maintain. And we, of course, want to encourage that here at the library. We also want to encourage you to come and check out a lot of our other books that bring you out to the evening. So the evening right now is a fabulous time to go for a walk and to come to the library and find some really good books after you. Maybe you read a book and then you want to explore more. Maybe you're exploring and then you want to read a book. Maybe you want to start with fiction. Maybe you want to start with nonfiction. We're here for you here at the library, and we want to help you in your reading adventures. So I would like to share Dusk Explorers with you right now. This is a fabulous brand new book here at the Wood County District Public Library, and it's by Lindsay Leslie and illustrated by Ellen Rooney. I particularly like Dusk. I like that time between daytime and nighttime, and I think it's a fabulous time to go out and explore the outdoors. The sun begins to sink. The neighborhood beckons. Looking for tree climbers who love to monkey from branch to branch to see who can soar the highest and find courage in the roughest of bark and the gentle flutter of leaves. Calling for leapfrogs who love to jump over backs and fall down itchy blades of freshly cut grass. Do you like to play leapfrog? It's a really fun game to play. And discover tunneling worms while they wait in the darkness of a tight tuck. Wow, there's the underground. So much to explore and observe. Searching for tag competitors who love to sprint between huddled homes lined with shrubs and memories and lose track of their breath as they call out, time out, right before getting caught. Time out, door it. Hopping for toad hunters who love to catch hopping families of wart covered croaking creatures and give them funny matching names like Bubba and Bubette and Bubberina. I like to look at the frogs at Winter Garden Park. Waiting for the kick the can players who love to run at night, fast speeds to a crickets. Crick, crick, crick. Hear the crick. and dodge a street lamp's gradual glow to keep from being captured. Longing for curbside whispers who share the deepest secrets under the soft shine of the setting sun. And snicker at the stories they dare not share with anyone else. Watching for hide and seekers who love to duck into nooks and tuck into crannies to keep long limbs out of sight. Ready or not, here I come. And wait with buzzing nerves and bat like ears for the moment they're found. Like to watch the bats. Wishing for firefly catchers who love to fling their nets into the dimming sky, sprinkled with diamonds. And watch their jars glow to the soundtrack of thumping cicadas. Lightning bugs, fireflies, and jars. Just watch them. Oh. Listening for gig giggling gigglers who love to scream with delight as the wind, lifting their arm and tickling their nose and pretend not to hear their parents. And the sun is gone, yell, time to come home. Time.
time to come home. Every summertime, screen doors open, porch lights turn on, the neighborhood waits for dusk explorers. Bugs, stars, and explorers. Come, run free outdoors, steal away into the night. Dusk Explorers. I like this brand new book. I hope you do too. Here's another book that I like a lot. That is not brand new, but it is just it's relatively new. Windows by Julia Denos and illustrated by E. B. Goodall. So this is more of an urban kind of maybe not going into nature, but looking at glows in windows. At the end of the day, so same time. At the end of the day, before the town goes to sleep, you can look out your window and see more little windows light up like eyes in the dusk, blinking awake as the lights turn on inside a neighborhood of paper lanterns. Yeah, they're like the lightning bugs, huh? or the fireflies, these windows. You can take a walk out your door into the almost night. The dusk. You might pass a cat or an early raccoon taking a bath in squares of yellow light. Hello, raccoon. Wearing a mask. One yellow, one window might be tall with the curtains drawn or small with a party inside. Investigate. So much to explore. Between two windows, there might be a phone used for good ideas. Ever done that? That's a good idea to make a phone with two cans and a long piece of string. That would be something fun to investigate and see how well that works. There might be a hug or a piano or someone learning to dance. All these houses, all these windows as the lights are going on. Another window could be dark with a sleeping plant or two or maybe bright and rounded like the moon. Some windows will have dinner or TV. Others are empty and leave you to fill them up with stories. Let's go on mysteries in that, in that dark house. When you arrive home again, and you look at your window from the outside, someone you love is waving at you, and you can't wait to go in. Hi. And so you do. Sharing. Sharing. See, such a beautiful routine, isn't it, to share a book at nighttime, at bedtime. And this is a great story to think about going for a walk outside and all the things that you can discover because you might see some animals or you might hear some animals. You might see a grasshopper or a cricket. You might hear it first, right? You might see a lightning bug because maybe they're still uh, out and about. You might be able to collect them. You certainly can find out more information about them. I would like to read one last story for you. This one is by Eric Carle, illustrated and written by Eric Carle, and it's called The Very Quiet Cricket. The Very Quiet Cricket.
One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping his few, huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching his way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittlebug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. You know this now. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. How are you? Hummed a, hum hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing. Oh. Good evening, whirled a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, but nothing happened. Oh, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly and the cricket in the stillness. The moth disappeared silently into the distance. The cricket saw another cricket, another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that he had ever heard and that she had ever heard. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, I want to find you. Oh, a very quiet cricket. Well, thank you very much for listening to my stories. And please think about coming into the library, checking out some more books to answer your questions or to give you some good ideas of places to go and things to look for, whether they're in your neighborhood or out in the woods or out in the fields. And hopefully you can find and hear and be an, a dusk explorer yourself. Take care until next time. Take care.